Uh, here I am, Sunday, August 19th, 2018. Been a week since I got my bees in my Langstroth hive body with my beetle barrier uh, baseboard on there. And I'm uh, going to take a look. Um, I have this, oh, I need to fire my smoker up. I do have a kind of a back door entrance here that they have kind of taken to a little bit. And this pops off of here, but I don't have my smoker yet, so I'm gonna wait on that. I'm gonna take a better look up in there. And uh, I think I get a little more activity in the top end, so we're gonna, oh, Peanut's over there getting her bath. Good girl. And we're going to take a look in there, see what's going on. Alright, I got the dog dried. Let's uh, open up the top here. And I peeked in here before and there was some bees up in there. And I don't see, so yeah, there's a few in there. Now I don't know if they're, oh, I should set up some bricks over here to set this top box on. Let's take a quick peek and, ooh, yeah, there's a lot of bees in there. All right, let's put that lid back on. We have bees in the top box. All right, I got some pretty good smoke rolling here. Let's uh, see if I can. I'm going to set the uh, hive box down on this uh, lid over here on this other thing and uh, see if I can get this whole. Yeah, I can probably get most of it on. Well, see the way the camera floats around, or seems to float around? That's all in the uh, phone. The phone does that. Right. Well, stuck on there a little bit. Lots of bee action in there. They're going after that pollen patty. I'm pretty sure the frame feeder is, yeah, it's empty. I got a whole another batch of syrup mixed up over there, so I'm gonna pull that. Um, I'm thinking maybe I was gonna put that in the top with the pollen patty in the top box. And let's take another little peek in here and see uh, see exactly what's going on. There is a beetle in there, which should not be. All right, he fell down into that trap. All right, there's a few bees on the lid. Okay, that's fine. And it looks like they're all over the frames in there. So uh, I'm going to pull my frame feeder out and change that, get it filled up. This pollen patty's been in here for about uh, maybe four days and they've really started chewing into it. They're not chewing on it right now. Look at these guys. They're eating it all up. So, and if you look down in there, let's see if I can turn on the light. Is that on? Yeah, the light's on. Yeah, I can see all the way to the bottom of the frame feeder, so that thing's completely empty. They emptied that in about four days. So I'm going to pull this pollen patty off of here if I can without smashing anybody. And it's like a big gooey. And they're all over. They're on the bottom, too. So you got to kind of it looks like they're tearing the... I hope it doesn't rip in half. Oh man, there's hive beetles all over the bottom of that. That is not good. Oh man. Uh oh. I am not happy with that. No. No. Wow, and this is even worse than it looks. Look, I got 20 beetles or more, 24, a couple dozen beetles. And if you look really close here, there's little larvae all over this thing. And those got to be those are beetle larvae. I got to I got to throw this whole patty out. That's no good. I mean, it's completely covered with them.
and it's only been in there four days for uh well yeah i think yeah a week yeah since i put them in the hive body and that was that was up in the other one i didn't see any beetles on it and i put it down there and it's covered just filled with beetles everywhere that's the bottom side top I didn't see any on oh no nope, there's one there too there's a great big one so yeah this whole thing has got to go I can't even I can't even have that on the lid they're gonna be crawling all over the place so yeah don't like that pollen feed pollen patty too too much for them all right, I got the tray out of the bottom so I can actually look up into the bottom of the hive under here. Uh, well, you can't really see a whole lot, but I can see there's the little lip that the bees shouldn't be under. Uh, and they're going through the screen. I don't know where all the beetles are getting up there. There's one right there, though. So they're definitely on the base. Here's one down here in the back corner. So they're all over this stand. I got my oop, a little bit of oil barrier getting all over in there. So, all right, well, I got to get this frame feeder out of here. Pull that out. All right, I switched it around a little bit. I didn't get a shot of it, but I put the frame feeder up in the top. Got the pollen patty out there over on a brick. Got to get rid of that. Um, and, yeah, I probably killed about 30 beetles in there. I put a beetle blaster down in the bottom. I got one in the top. There was a few uh, beetles in the top frames. So, yeah, the little aluminum edge does not do much about... Uh, the beetles and uh, while I was observing through the uh, into the bottom box I could actually see hive beetles crawling along the hardware wire along the hardware cloth on the wire upside down and everything else so they can grip a lot better than you think well I'll tell you the ants and the beetle larvae sure seem to love those pollen patties I don't know if I, I don't know if I will put another one of those in there. That is not good. Because that right there, that's hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds. Look at that little ant carrying that one beetle there. Or, yeah, the ant carrying the larva. I might put the patty outside the hive. They can collect some and take it in. But yeah, not inside the hive. 